What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Knight Batman action figure. This is the first figure in the wave, uh, first figure in the series, I should say. Uh, we got some new packaging here, as you can see, at the top of the border, right up there. You can see it. Uh, and over here it says Batman Arkham Knight. Some really, actually, some really nice packaging exclusive just to the game. Um, it shows like a, uh, I guess a, a scanned version of Batman here. I guess like a 3D scanned version of him. Um, and the, uh, the Batman, uh, uh, what the heck is that called? Detective mode. There we go. Uh, it says figure one on the bottom over there. And yeah, so it looks pretty cool. On the back, you have the other figures in the wave. It says a nice Batman crest over here from the Arkham Knights, all red and everything. Um, the other figures in the wave are the Batman we're doing right now. There's Arkham Knight, there's Scarecrow, and Harley Quinn. So pretty cool. Um, I was pretty excited about this Batman. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, the figure actually came out better than des the uh, design in the game, um, as far as I can see. I believe this whole chest piece right here is supposed to be like detachable or something like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the cape connects and there's like armor pieces on both sides of the uh, where the cape connects to, um, and those kind of like raise or lower. It actually showed it in one of the the. Um, the trailers for it um, but uh, I could be wrong on, on the chest piece maybe the chest piece is just how the chest piece is but it seems to me like he has a lot more armor in this game but uh, let's not waste any more time let's get Batman out of packaging we'll be right back okay and we're back with, back with uh, Batman out of packaging and I gotta say it looks pretty cool he does look pretty cool there's a lot of really nice sculpting going on with this guy um, this figure just feels much more sturdy than, um, I guess, past DC Collectibles figures. Um, I don't feel like he's going to snap in certain spots. He's not really super stiff like some some other DC Collectibles figures. Maybe just in the ab crunch, but I mean, even that is working fine. Um, but usually, most DC Collectibles figures that I that I own and I own quite a bit. Um, they're usually really, really stiff, in, uh, even in the uh, shoulder joints, the waist joints, um, and usually the elbows, um, especially in the ankles, are usually really, really stiff. But this guy's pretty fluent. He's pretty um, well done. I think I think that my biggest gripe with this is that, um, and I've seen this in other reviews, that the, uh, the ears are all messed up, or just this one ear is, um, it's all messed up. It almost looks like this ear is taller than this ear and that oh god that really bothers me just staring at it you can see that this ear is actually sculpted it seems like it's sculpted a little bit taller than that ear yeah you can totally tell that they they muffed it you muffed his ear up damn it i hate it when that happens when batman's ears get messed up it just bothers me for some reason but i guess you can use some hot water on it and just re-sculpt it but still it's not going to be as tall as this one on the right his right um i guess the other part i would probably fix is the lips the painting on the lips he's got like purple lipstick on it's really weird i don't know why they decided to go that route it looks a little odd to me um but as far as looks wise um besides the ear and the lips i think it looks pretty cool um, the, 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 um, this cape is like a light rubbery material, so it doesn't, you know, he, he doesn't have a problem standing, thank God, because, uh, there has been other DC collectibles figures that have problems standing. <coughs> Son of Batman, action figure Batman, <coughs> just saying, but, uh. He does come with other accessories. He does come with a Batarang. Looks pretty good. And he does come with his uh, gra grapple, grapnel gun. What is on my hand? There's something weird on my hand. Oh, I think it's just a... Never mind. There's his grapnel gun, and uh, be careful popping these out of package. It, it's like a harder plastic, and it's real thin. Um, 
there's a little bit of stress on these joints right here. And these little, see that little line going across, guys? Just be careful popping them out of package because it's bent a little bit when I was trying to take it out of package, just, just so you know. And he also does come with another hand, just one hand though, it's for the, the left hand. Um, it's like an extra gripping in case you want to, you know, fit the, I guess fit the battering in there. You can do that. So there's that. And uh, to take his hand off, you just kind of unpeg it. It's very simple. Um, not too hard to do. Bam. Done. Two seconds. So there's that. And then this this is just another gripping hand. It's just nice that they, they decided to give us two two gripping hands. I think this, is, this one's pretty much the same. Maybe that one's open a little bit more, but not too much of a difference, really. Like I said, um, where this guy excels is probably the sculpting, and the, uh, the paint applications are pretty good on here. You can actually tell that even on his, uh, maybe it's not coming off so great on here, but it's a little bit glossy on this portion right here where it connects to his, his cape. Um, these are actually, uh, it looks like carbon fiber, which is actually a really well done job by uh, DC Collectibles. Let me try to get that so it's not so shiny. I think there's no way I can get this where it's not so shiny. <laughs> but you can see there's like carbon fiber on his shoulder pads, which is a really nice touch. And if that's how it is in the game, I, I don't know if that's exactly how it is in the game. But if it is, that's really cool. And it would make sense for armor, too. If he had, like, a carbon fiber shoulder pads and stuff like that. This way, it's lightweight, because carbon fiber weighs next to nothing. And uh, it would make sense for his suit. So I don't really mind that, if that's the way it is in the game. Um, I think it makes sense. I would think that if he's got armor on, he's got much more... Hold on, let me show this. He would have much more uh, carbon fiber added to his suit and instead of having like all this metal that some other designs have um it would just make sense to me if he did so i don't know i just think it's a it's a nice little touch and uh, i feel like n not a lot of people have pointed that out that this is supposed to be carbon fiber um but good job by dc collectibles doing that um i'm actually really digging this figure it seems like there's a lot of parts on this this figure that they fixed with um, previous Batman figures. Like, uh, as far as the articulation, I'll point that out. Um, the head does have a good range of motion going side to side. He does have the tilt effect going side to side as well. He can do a full 360 rotation if you want him to. He does look up pretty well. And he does look down okay. Um, his arms are not impeded by the shoulder pads. Now that's a huge, huge deal because most DC Collectibles figures would have been impeded. Um, his arms do go down, can do a full 360 rotation. He does have the bicep swivel, and eh, thank God. And he, he does have double jointed elbows. He does have a wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. He also has an ab crunch, which goes forward really nicely. Good range of motion there. It goes back and the sculpting continues. Um, he does have the waist swivel, which was a huge deal with previous Batman figures that not a lot of them had waist swivels. Um, you can get his, his uh, hips to do the splits. So he does have T-joint hips, which is really nice. And his legs can go forward about that far. That's about the max. Uh, but you can still work with that, though. You can still do a lot with that. He does have an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Um, doesn't have a boot swivel, but he does have an ankle hinge, which goes forward and back. And he does have an ankle pivot, which is really nice. So this is a really solid figure. Good articulation. Um, I don't really see any bad paint applications on this figure. He does have some like a, um, some little detail on his legs, looking like he, it's been through some battle wear. Um, like someone, he was using that, those as uh, guards or something. Somebody scratched them up. Um, as far as his gauntlets look, they look pretty good. As you can see here, maybe I would have uh, gone with a different design for his spines or spikes, whatever you want to call them, on uh, his gauntlet, but uh, still looks good nonetheless. I still think it look, this is a really well done figure overall. I would say that this might be one of, one of my favorite Batman Arkham figures, to be honest with you. And I know this is a, a new design, maybe it doesn't appeal to everyone, but... 
I don't know. I'm excited for the game. I, I know this is the last Arkham game, Batman Arkham game. So I think this is a good figure. He's he runs for around uh, to anywhere from 21 to 25 bucks. Uh, I got him for 24, including shipping, free shipping, and everything. So that's not too bad. That's usually what these guys run. Uh, he does come with a battering, an extra hand, and a grapnel gun. Um, I'll bring in some other Batman. And we'll do some size comparisons here. Okay, and we're back, and here's some size comparisons here. They're um, they're pretty all pretty all uh, they're all pretty much in scale. I said that backwards, like Yoda. All pretty are well in scale. Um, <laughs> they're they're pretty much all in scale with each other. But it's nice to see the transition from the first video game to the second video game to the third video game to the fourth video game. Uh, I know this is technically this was done by a different company, the Arkham Origins, but this figure is. Oh man, it's one of my favorite figures that I own. Um, Design-wise, articulation-wise, uh, detail-wise, and I think this might be the close second um, in this group of four. Um, these guys were kind of lacking articulation, but still great in design and paint applications and everything, and sculpt. Um, they're still they're still really good figures. So if you haven't gotten those, I would definitely pick this up. This is from Arkham Asylum. This this version right here, and then that one's from Arkham City, this one's from Arkham Origins, and that one's from going to be from Arkham Knight, obviously. So, all of these figures are really good, but if you have to pick one, whew, I might have to go with Arkham Origins. I, I just love this figure. Uh, he's been one of my favorite figures <laughs> um, that I've owned, and uh, yeah, I just, I just love that design, love the look. Um, everything but this is probably a close second like I said uh, if you get both of these you're pretty much set uh, even if you just want to get one Batman figure either one of these guys will be will do you perfectly uh, if you don't and if you don't care about articulation or anything like that then you can also go with one of these guys um, so there's that uh, so yeah they're pretty much all in scale with each other as they, they would be um, so DC Collectibles did a good job. I just wish they had better QC with this this ear. It, oh man, that really bothers me. It just really bothers me. I know I can fix it, but it just oh, bothers the hell out of me when Batman ears are messed up <laughs> in packaging. So yeah, uh, would I recommend this figure? Absolutely. There's a lot of, like I said, all of these paint lines, I want to point this out. They're kind of like a, uh, they kind of have like a honeycomb and I can't pick this up on camera for some reason, but they have like kind of like a honeycomb look to them to make it look like a breathable, lightweight material in between. Um, it also includes up here on the arms over here, here too, and it's sculpted in. This is actually sculpted in on the legs. It's not just painted in. I know it might look like it's painted in, but it's not. All Everything on him is pretty much sculpted in. So he's a really well done figure. I would say that these two are quite possibly my new favorites. Um, I love the, the the addition with the carbon fiber. It just makes so much sense, especially for Batman, to have carbon fiber included on his suit. So he can move around, and it's lightweight, and it's, and it's pretty tough, so. Um, yeah, so would I recommend this figure? Absolutely. freaking lootly Go out and get yourself um, your an Arkham, bleh, an Arkham Origins figure. This is a, uh, a really well done figure. And uh, if you have the other figures already, you're going to want to pick up this guy to, to finish it off. And this is the final game in the Ar Batman Arkham series. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always. And I will see you guys on the flip side.